Dear all of fine morning and welcome to Food Step Media Cafe 21.4. Today is 11th of July 2023, Tuesday, 7 a.m. And I am Deva Karun. Heavy rain. Prime Minister Modi speaks to Chief Ministers of Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand, assures all help. Flood alert issued in Haryana and Delhi. West Bengal Panjayat Polls. The counting of votes in the violence hit Panjayat and rural body elections in West Bengal will be held today. Spain's state-owned shipbuilder Navencia and engineering major Larsen and Tubro signed an agreement on Monday to jointly bid for a 43,000 crore rupees project to build six advanced submarines for the Indian Navy. Supreme Court grants anticipatory bail to Marunad and Malayali editor Shajan Skaria, but cautions him to be careful in his discourse. Supreme Court seeks central government's response on AAP government's plea against Delhi Services Ordinance. Termination of 437 consultants. Article 370 Changes Board Unprecedented Progress Security and Stability to Jammu and Kashmir. Central Government tells Supreme Court. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan on Monday introduced a new condition for approving Sweden's membership in NATO. The powerful sister of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un alleged on Monday that the country's warplanes repelled a U.S. pipeline that flew over its exclusive economic zone. Manipur issue, Uniform Civil Code. UDF to organize pluralistic meet. No invitation for LDF leaders. Flood water continuing to disrupt normal life in Kutunar. A holiday has been declared on Tuesday for all educational institutions in the Taluk in Alapura district. The Excise Department has been granted permission by the state government to study the liquor manufacturing methods in Goa. Protesters block ministers at Thiruvananthapuram Mudalapuri over lapses in ensuring fisher folk safety. Misuse of Chief Minister's Relief Fund The Kerala Logayukta has passed scathing remarks against R.S. Sashigumar, the petitioner in the case related to alleged inappropriate distribution of money from the Chief Minister's Distress Relief Fund for seeking regular postponement of hearings. Wimbledon. Djokovic holds off Hurkac to reach quarterfinals again. The 36-year-old returned to lose his first set of the tournament before sealing a victory. Pakistan Cricket Board PCB Acting Chairman Zaka Ashraf will push for the country's ODI World Cup matches in neutral venues in ICC meeting at Turban. And that's it for today's news headlines. These headlines are taken from the news portals, the New Indian Express and the Times of India, and the newspapers, the Manorama, the Madhurfumi and the India Today. Thank you guys for tuning in to listen to today's headlines. Thank you and see you next time.